So one of the number one issues people have had with Tesla, and by the way, if you're new, please subscribe, turn on those notifications so when I drop videos, you get them, subscribe to Larry's channel, check us the gram. One reason why people haven't been messing with Tesla is because they're worried about the charging and the digital battery. Well, my, Tesla is coming out with the very first electric car to go over 400 miles on one charge, and Tesla has solidified a, a deal with Panasonic, which is why they make money, and you shouldn't look at Tesla's stock as a car company, but as a technology company. Take a look at this. With an updated EPA rating, the Tesla Model S is now the first electric vehicle ever made to get an EPA rating of over 400 miles of range on a full charge. Tesla has been leading the EV industry in range ever since the Model S came out. Back in 2012 with a range of 265 miles on the Model S, even today competitors are just starting to catch up to that 265 mile range eight years later. Along with this news, straight from Tesla also comes rumors of a 100 kilowatt hour Model 3 battery, which could lead the Model 3 to be well over 400 miles itself. So how did Tesla get the Model S over 400 miles? Is a Model 3 over 400 miles also on the well, way? Didn't update the battery a lot of that actually has to do with efficiencies in other areas having to do with weight aerodynamics thinner tires things like that now when you do the calculation this is assuming the model s is getting 248 watt hours per mile which is pretty low for such a big car even in my model 3 i am really not seeing that low i see closer to 270 to 280 watt hours per mile but this is what the epa test determined <coughs> yesterday the model s range was just below 400 miles tesla has reached a new three-year deal with panasonic for battery supply from gigafactory nevada on June 10, by the way, this uh, started on June 10. On June 10, 2020, Tesla Incorporation and Tesla Motors Netherlands BV, collectively Tesla, and Panasonic Corporation and Panasonic Corporation of North America, collectively Panasonic, entered into an amendment and restatement, the 2020 GTC, of the general terms and conditions entered into between Tesla and Panasonic on October 1, 2014, as amended, which governs certain agreement for Panasonic to manufacture lithium-ion battery cells for Tesla at Gigafactory, Nevada. The 2020 GTC, among other things. So, ladies and gentlemen, fears that you're having about tesla just put them to the side <laughs> the, the questions you should be asking about tesla when you buy the car is the opposite of what i did see I, mine has a 50 kilowatt battery which gets you 250 miles so let me explain to you number one tesla recommends that you only charge your car up to 90 percent when you're city driving or at home so that you don't degrade the battery but if you're going on a road trip, fill it all the way up. So in essence, um, even though the car is going to be getting 400 some miles, you probably most likely, if you're just driving around your city, you're only going to load it up to 90%. It's going to be somewhere around 385, which I'm telling you all, mine is 250 and I only charge mine up to 90 and I drive it every day and I floor it too. And it's plenty. <laughs> when you're thinking about buying a Tesla, Think about the features in the car and think how fast you want the car to go. The basic battery is a 50 kilowatt battery that gets 200 miles, which is plenty for most people. And the yeah. one that I have charges the fastest. So ladies and gentlemen, stop letting people try to shake salt in your gas tank. <laughs> Tell a great car to buy, appreciates as an asset. They update their technology over the internet, and the stock is so damn high because they're doing deals with batteries and pets. They're leasing out their technology to other car companies. The reason why that stock is the way is because you don't look at Tesla as a car company. Look at Tesla as a technology company operating as a car sales company. What you hmm. think, Larry? Yeah, I mean that's that's a good way to look at it is to look at it as a as a tech company in a lot of respects. And so, I mean the good thing about it is as a tech company they actually have a physical product that they're putting out, which is always a good thing because you look at some of these tech companies and they have these these evaluations and they haven't actually produced anything yet. So, it's you know, I think 
Tesla seems like they're going to keep going up. And the thing is, is that with Tesla, it seems like they are not just looking at how could they improve what they're doing today. They're looking far beyond today and off into the future, like like deep off into the future. You know, they're, it seems like they're really planning on doing a lot of stuff. And it seems like they are willing to build out the infrastructure needed to make their own products work along with other people's as well. So it's exciting. I, I'm, I mean, even, even if for someone who's not, I'm not invested in Tesla stock right now because it's just expensive for me, but um, I'm excited to see, I'm excited to see where the technology goes and, and, and what it means for all of us, because the reality of it is once one company does something big like that as is a success at it, the other companies are going to follow. And that means it's going to be good for all of us. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And matter of fact, Larry, I'll start when I do my next video, I'll start giving you some, some comparison to other companies that are thinking about doing electric cars. But I just read an um, article today in Barron's that all the other car companies have decided to put a halt on their battery operated cars this year due to COVID while hmm. it's still cranking them out, cranking them out. So ladies yeah. and gentlemen, don't listen to anything else I say. If you can somehow afford it, buy some tests and be thinking about 10 years from now. Thinking about 10 years from now. That speaking of stocks, Larry, mm-hmm. you got something else to say about Tesla? Okay, go ahead. Man, no, no, I'm just saying Tesla is almost back over a thousand. They're at nine something again. They're they're knocking right on that door, that thousand dollar share threshold again. So, you know, I might just have to yeah, buy man. one share. <laughs> Get one. Get one. Get one, one, baby. Sit Get on one. It. Look, get one. I'm I'm sitting on double digits and about to buy some more next week. I'm I'm gobbling it up. I'm getting right. it. I gotta get it. 